<laughs> now, the uh, UN Senior Humanitarian and Reconstruction Coordinator for Gaza says moving aid by land remains the most effective way to get supplies into the Strip. Juliette Tuma is head of communications from UNRWA, joins us now from Amman. Uh, Juliette, first of all, let's, this phrase of the day, a lot of head scratching about this uh, port plan and the maritime route from Cyprus. What's your take on it? Look, uh, any increase in the flow of humanitarian aid into the Gaza Strip is a very welcome. All we're saying is that there is a more efficient and easier and cheaper way to bring in much needed supplies into the Gaza Strip, and that is via the road, including sending more trucks uh, from Israel to the Gaza Strip. Can you spell out for us why it is so difficult to get aid in via road, the most simple route in? Well, it shouldn't be, you see. That's the whole point, is that it's so easy. There are several crossing points that connect uh, the state of Israel with the Gaza Strip. This is uh, what we used before the war started on the 7th of October, uh, when there was a regular flow of about 500 trucks every day, including commercial supplies. So it shouldn't be uh, complicated at all when there is a political will, there is a way. Right. Well, is, is there a political will? There has been very, very little aid coming into Gaza over the past five months. Uh, the siege uh, on the Gaza Strip has been extremely tight. Authorizations to UNRWA and other United Nations agencies to travel north and bring in much needed food supplies, as one example, have not been given sufficiently. So there needs to be much more. The political will does seem to now be focused at the moment with the sudden flurry uh, of interest on these alternative routes, including the maritime uh, plan through Cyprus. Are you concerned that there is an effort here to sideline UNRWA in aid operations to potentially carve UNRWA out? Our top concern is for people in Gaza who have been through so, so much over the past five months to get the very minimum. We are on the verge of famine in some parts of the north of the Gaza Strip. So any uh, help, any humanitarian assistance is uh, very welcome. It has to be efficient, it has to be smooth, and there has to be much more. But are you sensing that UNRWA is being sidelined here? It is what Israel wants, isn't it? Look, we are on the ground and we will continue to work and we will continue to deliver we also need more. There's work, plenty of work for, for everyone out there in, in Gaza. The situation is very, very bad, and all efforts needs to be, need to be concerted so that more aid get to people in need. That's what's key. We've been seeing aid, uh, airdrops coming in, aid coming in via air, and unfortunately there's been tragic news of fatalities from those airdrops, and the airdrops are, are very, very ineffective anyway. Is that right? Exactly why I said in the beginning, there is a much more efficient and easier way to send uh, supplies and humanitarian aid into Gaza, and that's through the road, um, using the crossings. There are plenty of them uh, that connect Israel with the Gaza Strip. How urgently do we need a ceasefire in Gaza? Long overdue. We needed it on day two of the war. We are now five months on and, and, and counting. It's absolutely, absolutely urgent. Too many lives have been lost totally unnecessarily. It is time. It is, it is overdue, in fact. Julia Tuma, we appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us here on Al Jazeera.